Hey viewers, welcome to another BRM video. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you how I was able to get my SRAM short cage derailleur to work with a larger cassette cog. Now I wanted to install lower gearing so I thought a 1130 cassette would work just fine. However, since I would always wanted to stay with a SRAM cassette, I was not able to find one so I had to go with 1132. I also want to stay with my existing derailleur. I ordered the cassette and installed it, but when shifting to the 30 tooth cog, the guide pulley wheel would rub against it. I turned the B adjustment screw all the way in, but it still rubbed. I thought I would try a longer adjustment screw, so I went to the local Ace hardware store. I go to Ace because I've been able to find obscure small bicycle hardware parts there most of the time when I'm not able to find them at the bigger box stores. So the screw that was in here that came with the derailleur was a 20 millimeter uh, B adjustment screw. I went to the hardware store and found a 25 that fit perfectly and I thought I'd try that. And it did lower it enough to accommodate the gear but now I have a shifting problem and I'll show you what that is. So it's actually shifting nice all throughout most of the gears. I'll show you that now. Now the problem is, is when I get up to the largest cog, I have a problem with it shifting back down again. I'll show you that here. So I had to shift it a couple times in order for it to get down. <clears throat> it took a while. So this just won't work. So what I did find online was a road link made by Wolf Tooth adapter. And what this will do is lower the derailleur down, which will give me uh, more room and also allow me to put the uh, B adjustment screw back in. So here's what it looks like. And the screw does pop out so we can lube it up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the chain off and I'm also going to replace my pulley wheels since I have a cracked one with these here. These are sealed bearings. They're not the cheapy ceramic ones that you see like this that don't last very long. These are sealed so they should last uh, quite a while and uh, work real well. Okay viewers, so I got the new pulley wheels on. These uh, old ones you see are cracked there. And this one down in here. And I, again, I put on the sealed bearing ones, not the um, cheapy ceramics. They're not sealed actually. They just have little covers on them so you, it gets full of dirt and grime and water. And we also got the adapter on here which brought the derailleur down a little bit. And we've got plenty of clearance here. In fact, I can probably make it a little tighter, which I'm going to do, but it's shifting really well right now, and I'll show you here. Pretty quiet. I'm able to go up. And then I'm able to go down one click. Well, there we have it. That adapter worked perfectly. That's how you do it. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you for the next one.